Greetings from the Ministry of Commerce, Manufacturing, Business Development, Cooperatives and Consumer Affairs in our beautiful island of St. Lucia. Every year on March 15th, World Consumer Rights Day is celebrated as a means of raising global awareness about the rights of consumers, their needs, and today is no exception. St. Lucia and all countries across the globe join hands in celebrating World Consumer Rights Day 2024 under the theme, Fair and Responsible AI for Consumers. Consumer use of technology has increased rapidly and is poised to have a significant impact on various aspects of our lives, including work, creativity, communication, and information gathering. Last year, developments in generative artificial intelligence, AI, grabbed the digital world by storm, and consumers globally embraced it. Generative AI has the capability of becoming general purpose technology with an impact similar to that of the steam engine, electricity, and the internet. It is anticipated that generative AI will grow as people and businesses discover more innovative applications for the technology in daily work and life. Consequently, advocating for transparency and providing consumers with information is increasingly important as generative AI technology advances. The market is increasingly concentrated with a small number of business organizations monopolizing the ownership of information and data. We have recognized increased concerns about the competition and are closely monitoring consumer rights issues. Generative AI will significantly impact all aspects of our lives, including our laws, norms, and values, emphasizing the importance of transparency. As a result, traditional consumer protection measures must be reassessed to align with current advancement. Millions of consumers have already integrated generative AI into their daily lives as a result of the introduction of chatbots and more recently, chat GPT that stimulate human conversation. The technology is anticipated to significantly alter how we perform, create, communicate, and collect data, among other aspects. If applied appropriately, generative AI has the potential to augment consumer service and redress channels. Due to the unprecedented rate of technological advancement, we must act swiftly to guarantee a future of AI that is both equitable and accountable. The United Nations guidelines for consumer protection highlight the significance of transparency in providing consumers with the necessary information to make educated decisions and for governments to create and implement policies and regulations. Thus, the Ministry of Commerce is working to ensure the enhancement of transparency and consumer protection in AI. However, According to Consumer International, to truly benefit from this new technology, effective consumer protection must integrate three critical points, construction, distribution, and responsibility. Construction, we must examine the construction and upkeep of AI models to see if they have been developed in a manner that is fair and ethical for consumers. Distribution. It is indeed fascinating to witness the emergence of new tools and technology. However, to adequately safeguard customers, we must understand the societal implication of releasing an AI model. Responsibility. 
We must determine if there are effective mechanisms for addressing emerging issues and if appropriate levels of responsibility and accountability are established in society and government, which includes customers' right to seek redress and government requests for information disclosure. We all recognize the potential of AI to transform our lives in practical and efficient ways. Some of the benefits of generative AI include faster product development, enhance customer experience, and improve employee productivity. However, the rate of development and absence of regulation necessitate aggressive policy making about consumer protection. As we are in 2024, we will carefully examine existing structures and choose the most effective methods to seize opportunities for influencing decisions and implementing modifications. Within our Fair Helen, efforts have been made in the right direction to ensure aggressive policy making on consumer protection. It is with much jubilation that I say St. Lucia was able to fulfill its obligations both regionally and internationally by enacting the consumer protection laws. I am happy to reiterate that January 1st, 2022 marked a milestone achievement for the ministry that after 24 years of discussion, the Consumer Protection Act number no. 9 of 2016 and its amendment number no. 14 of 2021 were given a commencement date. In May 2023, the Consumer Protection Council and Tribunal were both established to usher in a new era of consumer redress. Other legislation which protect consumers and are already in existence are the Electronic Transaction Act, Cap 8.17, and the Data Protection Act, Cap 8.18, which provides protection for personal data collection. Celebrating this day, World Consumer Rights Day presents an opportunity to advocate for the protection and respect of all consumers' rights and to prevent market abuse and injustice that threaten those rights. In closing, I would like to state that we are utilizing technology that is in a constant state of development and advancement. Considering the dichotomous role of the Ministry of Commerce, I can assure you that the government will persistently endeavor to establish a trading melee that is equitable for both businesses and consumers to operate within. Happy World Consumer Rights Day 2024, and may God continue to guide us in this beloved country of ours.